In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your InDesign document to include crop marks and bleed, making it print ready to take to the print center based in the Curzon building. So if we go down to our InDesign, I'm going to set up a new document here. I'm going to file new. I'm going to make this document five pages. I'm going to leave facing pages on because I want my images to go across pages. I'm going to leave it as an A4 document. Now I'm going to change my margins to 10 mil all the way around. I'm going to uncheck the link and I'm going to make the inside of the document 20 mil. The reason for this is if we've got perfect band book, it's harder to see the inside of the pages uh, and the bigger margin you give will be better for your document. Next I'm going to go down to the bleed. I'm going to put 5 mil in. I'm going to press the tab button to bring it in every box and I'm going to press OK. Now we can see our document here. We've got five pages and if I zoom in, you can see we've got three lines. We've got a guide here which is the red one which is your bleed. We've got the black one, which is the edge of your document, and we've got the purple one, which is your margins. So I'll zoom back out again. Next, we're going to go file place, because we want to bring some images in. And we're going to choose an image. This one's an A4, and there's no bleed. So I'm just going to drop that straight in. And make sure it fits inside the document. Next, I'm going to bring in some images to go across these pages. So I go file place. I'll choose this image here, press OK, and here I'm going to take my image and at the red box, I'm going to move it all the way across, I'm going to take it all the way to the edge of the, the red line, if you can see there. Now I'm going to just fill this frame proportionally. If we look at this, we can see that the actual image goes 5 mil outside of the edge of the page, so I'll zoom back out click off and then I'll go command D or control D bring in the second image and do exactly the same so I bring it to the red line and bring my placeholder box all the way down and once again fit it proportionally okay now we're going to export this as PDF so we go File Export, I'm going to give it a name, uh, I'm going to call this Print Test, choose your location where to save it, I'm going to choose Adobe PDF Print, press Save, and get a high quality print. Now what we want to do is make sure here that we have pages selected, not spread. We go to Marks and Bleed, and we go Crop Marks, and we're going to make sure that Use Document Bleed Settings is on. As you can see here we've got 5 mil all the way around and then we're going to press export. Now give that a few seconds and we go to our documents, locate where we put it, print test and I'm going to open that up and show you what we've got. So we can see our document, if I zoom out, they're all single pages and if I zoom in you'll be able to see this area here, it's actually got crop marks, so these are the trim marks for the printers to cut and also your image goes slightly outside so you will not see this when it's been cut off. Thank you for watching.